Please be aware that we may have difficulty assisting the situation where unofficial or supported program tools are being used. Basically saying like, if you got mods, we can't help you. Damn, bro. So that means that I can't be helped. Come on, man. Let me get my modded colors, bro. What is going on, guys? We finally got another update for the developer's backyard. And this, I feel like, was such an important announcement that they dropped. So we're going to go ahead and read this together. But before we jump into it, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you guys feel about the developer's backyard. Are you guys excited for the future and for the things that they talked about today? Let's jump into it. New backyard, which is really good. I'm really happy. Greetings, everyone. This is the new producer, Mayuchi. Uh, he's a good friend of mine, Ken. That's the GOAT. Love Ken to death. Super friendly to me when I first met him. Unfortunately, get, really didn't get a chance to hang out with him more and just talk to him more because uh the pandemic. But, I will say this. He he was very, very passionate. So, I really like him a lot. In this volume, the developer's background, we unfortunately decided to pour it with the player and kill it. Oh, no. I guess they don't want people asking questions. Unfortunate. Instead, we'll be focusing on the recent volume update, the new Xbox Windows version of the game. When they say Windows version, that means that you could actually have Strive. Like if you have Xbox Game Pass and you have Strive, if you're on PC, does that mean that you could play through that, right? That's amazing. To be fair, the questions they chose last time were kind of whack. I mean, to be honest with you, I think people are now asking the real questions, bro. What are you guys gonna do to fix the game? What are you guys gonna do to do this, this, and this, and that, right? And I'm sure that they can't really talk about those things. So they just like, yo, we just tired of that shit. February, Twitter, we announced DLC character number eight, which was originally scheduled for March, uh, had unfortunately been delayed until early April. Okay, so we, we hear early April. Although the patch was implemented without prior notice, the March 1st update, another primary objective is to ensure smooth incorporation and compatibility of the Xbox Windows version of the game, which will release on March 6th. Nice. Particular attention was given to the search ID for online player match when we did away the previous configuration and replaced it with six digit number system. I, th I think the six digit number system is pretty good, right? So I think that was good. In January 2023, we made an announcement on Twitter that a serious commitment of tackling malicious exploits attack. Oh, they're finally talking about it. As part of their ongoing efforts, we are periodically taking action against these attacks to provide a safe environment for users to enjoy our game and we'll continue to do so going forward. Uh, due to data privacy concerns, please understand we cannot provide details or information on specific cases. Sound like to me they got it. You know that, ladies and gentlemen, we got it. We need, we need to roll that. You know what's crazy though? Know? To be honest with you, I felt like they couldn't even really talk about what, what happened. And to be fair, I knew that they figured it out already because they stopped doing it instantly. So I know it has somebody to, it has something to do with somebody in the scene that's been around. It was weird for me that that they thought that they were just gonna be able to get away with, which is crazy. But the good news is they're gone. The bad news is I don't know how bad it is from them. You know, like what this is like technically a like uh a crime. Like, isn't this like a felony, if I'm not mistaken? This is like a real bad crime to do. This isn't a felony. Well, wasn't they kind of like using like impersonating like names and stuff too? Like, isn't that all part of it? Or technically you can't it, you can't do it, right? Or if it, it's not necessarily like a big thing they could potentially sue someone over it though for breaking the tos well in that case i hope they got money if i see a random gofundme about like having to pay some stuff well technically they're gonna lose because all arts has got to do is just keep paying out pay them you know the only reason why I, the only reason why is because of impersonation yeah that's why that's why i said isn't that a felony because people were impersonating other people online that's why I thought it could be a felony because there's so many things that you know you could do. But that was that's why I threw it out. There. Well, I'm just glad now it's gone and people can play in peace, <laughs> and that's what I care about. A victim becoming an exploit, such as personating player mention game prison. Please be aware that we may have difficulty assisting the situation where unofficial or supported program tools are being used. Basically saying like if you got mods, we can't help you. Damn, bro. So that means that I can't be helped. Come on, man. Let me get my modded colors, bro. Crossplay function is fully supported Xbox Windows version as well, allowing users with PS4s, PS5, and Steam. Damn, that we're in a timeline where we can actually play all consoles. That's so cool. Like, damn. Crossflow network, battle pass, early April now. Three additional EX colors. Only three? Huh. So, we only get three additional colors. These colors look nice, actually. These look really good, actually. But the way the way the color packs was announced, I felt like we was gonna get a whole pack 
better than doing six skins and charging 25 for it. Honestly, I think six skins is crazy. I think I would prefer that. For 25, I would definitely rock that. But now, upcoming tournaments event, we have a news to share regarding the upcoming Arc World Tour finals to be held in California March 11th, as well as Evo Japan 2023. But first, a brief recap of the results of Arc Rebel Japan. Damn, did we, I, I forgot. We really, they really didn't talk about this. These are the, of, uh, these are the people that are coming. So it's Umi Shell, uh, Skill, Gobo, Numenheimer, Zondo, Mochi, Tai, and Tempest. And um, these are gonna be, this is the bracket actually. I think Skill actually has a chance of fighting, of beating Gobo. Mochi versus Numenheimer is gonna be a very good match. Only to see because I think this is gonna showcase how good Soul is. My only thing about Numenheimer is obviously I am going to be team, I am team USA against all international players, except for my favorite players in general. So I'm always going to always be team USA. With that being said, Numenheimer is also from the West Coast. So I'm already down on team West Coast all the time. But if I want to hear my, if I want to give you my honest opinion, I think Numenheimer has a, a slight chance. And the only reason why I say slight chance is because I don't think they have high level soul experience on the level of, Momo, uh, of Mochi. That is my only concern. So they might be, it might be something that they do to stop Nago and he's not familiar of it. And I don't know if he's going to have enough time to adapt unless they play cat. Now, if they play casuals and Numenheimer adopts, Numenheimer's going to win. Now, Ty, Zondo, I don't think nobody's ready for Ramathal. They're definitely going to change their opinion after this set. So, Zando is probably going to win 3-0. Umi Shell versus Tempest this is literally a coin flip. Both characters are broken as hell. And both players are ridiculous with their characters. I mean, Ty is going to play Chip. You don't get to pick, you don't get to choose who you play. You got to fight. So, that is, uh, wait, where's the DNF? Right, I just not showing no love to do that on the screen, huh? Damn. Anyways, I'm rooting for Lawso and, and Mystic. Those are the two players I'm rooting for. Last but not least, let's go over the details of Evo Japan, which is scheduled to be held in Tokyo Big Site on March 31st, April 2nd. Our system work will have own booth set up right in Evo Japan for it, but this time players will be able to have their hands on sneak peek at DLC character at 8. Oh, really? Damn. Damn. So we get, you get to play the character here. Nice. That's actually sick. I think the biggest thing, the biggest win out of this announcement or this backyard is now they are officially saying that that hacker is officially gone. I'm a bit disappointed with the colors because I was really looking forward of having like a new pack. It felt like they were advertising like a new, like new new colors, but you know, three EX colors are fine. I'm I'm happy with that. I wonder if it comes for free in the season pass or even season non season pass user. I wonder if they get that as well. But overall, super cool. Um, really good backyard. Let me know how you guys feel. This is actually really great for the game now. We can play online in peace. No more hack. No more hacker sh from stock from cyberspace. All right. F the hacker. I wonder who's gonna be the character man. They teased Delilah, did they? I wouldn't know. To be honest, I think Delilah's like boring. Like nobody wakes up and be like Delilah. Nobody Delilahs, bro. Come on, man. Imagine being pushed back the way just for. Delilah.